So today Wahoo has announced three different upgrades, updates, feature enhancements, whatever you want to call them for their Wahoo Bolt V2 and Roam V2 units. And I'm just going to walk these through like in real time. It's like a live stream except I'll cut out any of the swearing and long pauses so it's kind of efficient. So there are three major updates here. Number one is lighting control for AMP Plus bike lights. Number two being GoPro control for GoPro stuff. And number three being music control for music on your phone. Okay, so with that, let's just dive straight into it, starting off with the bike light side of things. So I have two bike lights here, one of them on life support because I needed to charge it at the last second. Uh, so what you can do is power on your bike light if you haven't done that already. Turn that one on there, unplug life support here, turn this on. So those two lights are on right there. And now I'm gonna go down into the sensors menu, just like you would add a power meter or anything else. Add sensor, hold it next to these. And you'd go ahead and press that more button right there. In my case, I've got lots of sensors around here. So we'll just get straight into the more button and you'll see other sensor types. I'll tap that again. And it's gonna to start to open up these other sensor types. So you can see my headwind there, uh, some trainers and bikes over there. There's a rear light, so we can get that started while we wait for the headlight to come up. So I'll save this rear light. There we go. Click on more, and I'll go ahead and I'll expand this out. It may take a second or two to expand this. Yep, it's still alive, which is good. There we go. And now it's got the control modes and all the details. You see the battery is good on this rear light. And then right there, you can see the light mode. I can toggle and iterate through that. So I can say, I want light that's flashing right now. There's custom one. Going again, and there's turned off. There we go, into steady at full brightness. Steady at 20%. And then back into the front flash. And finally, once more, this should be random flash. And I think we're back into custom one. Uh, these will be defined by your given bike light. So again, the idea here is really control of the lights more than anything else. Now, if we go on back, we'll grab the other one as well. So go down into this here, add the front light. So move this out of the way for now. Tap on more again. We'll wait for these to enumerate. I'll fast forward past the boring parts. Okay, there is the front light right there. I'll save that. Go up and we'll find the front light at the top. Usually there we go, right there, more. Give it a couple seconds to enumerate this out. And these are all the, the AMP Plus lighting protocol standards. So there are many different bike lights that are out there today. Uh, Trek ones, Bontrager, Garmin. Uh, there's been C-Sense in the past. Even like the cyclic lights from years ago also enumerated on AMP Plus as well. Uh, not so much anymore. But again, there's lots of options out there today. Uh, this is just kind of one of the ones I had handy really quick. Okay, there we go. Now you can see the battery is at critical because yeah, it is life support. Uh, but again, the same mode control right there. Uh, go ahead and toggle that. Now it's in blinking state. Now it's steady 80%, 20%. Uh, now, one thing to note, if you go back here, you'll see at the very top, obviously your connected sensors always live at the top there. But if you go even higher than that, you'll see I can control all the bike lights. So watch real quick here as I just turn these on and off in one shot. All bike lights off, all bike lights on, on. There we go, on. Uh, also on your Element app, if you look in the Element app, you'll see a new option listed there called Auto Control Bike Lights right there. Uh, this will automatically turn on the bike lights when you turn on your Element and then turn off the bike lights when you power off your Element. Oh, hey, and a quick note before we get on to the next item, if you are finding this video interesting or useful, just go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe. It really does help with the video and the channel quite a bit. Moving on to the next thing, which is GoPro control. Uh, so set that stuff off the side for now. So on your GoPro over here, you're gonna power it on first if you haven't already done that. Move this out of the way and I'll turn on my bike computer as well. Okay, on the bike computer, I'm gonna go down into the add menu. And just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and add another device. So add sensor. Again, everything falls in the sensor menu. And over here on the GoPro, I'm gonna swipe down, swipe to the left to right, and then do pair device. Uh, and it's basically gonna show up in this pair device list. So you'll see it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. If this is an AMP Plus ID, it's like a fake AMP Plus ID because there's no AMP Plus here, but eh, just set that aside for the moment. Hit save. And then watch what will happen over here. It'll actually show it as a GoPro Quip app. And then you'll see it right there listed up in the sensors. We'll tap on more, give it a second. And usually it'll show up over here as a GoPro Quick app. So it's basically faking being the GoPro Quick app. However, what's cool, I'll show you in a second though, is that this will still connect to the GoPro Quick app. Uh, so to go on back now, I'm gonna press this to get back here. You can see it just showed connected briefly there. And then go back to the page. I'm gonna get back on here as well. We're just going back everywhere, just like back it up. Page, page, page. 
more page. Boom. Okay. Now we're at the GoPro camera control. 1% battery. Good Lord. Okay. We're just going to make this work. Uh, I can hit record right there. This starts recording. I'm going to stop recording because I only got 1% of battery left. The mode button here will go ahead and toggle between camera, video, and time lapse. Sorry, not camera, photo, video, and time lapse. Uh, the three GoPro modes that you have. And on the right hand side, this will watch this right here. This will go up and down between the camera profiles. Uh, so go down, we go up. It doesn't seem to work super well, which is why, by the way, that this section is actually not yet available entirely. It's like in some betas, but not all betas. So the GoPro control as of this very second isn't lit up in production yet. So you might have to wait another day, week, month, year, decade. I don't really know. Soonish is what I'm told. Uh, so anyways, click the record button again, and you'll see these two things are synced right there. Uh, it's as simple as that, folks. It's, it's not very complicated. Oh, look at that. Battery is gone. Just like that, we're out of battery, which is perfect. I will mention, though, if you have your phone and you want to do camera control from your phone of the uh, GoPro, like the whole thing mixed up like that, you can do that. Here's a little video I shot earlier on where I was controlling back and forth between the phone controlling the GoPro and the element controlling the GoPro and all the things controlling the GoPro, and it worked just fine and kept in sync across all of them. Okay, so the very last thing to show you is music control. Uh, this is controlling music on your phone, or really any audio source at all for that matter. So it can be music, a podcast, it can be YouTube, anything that uses the standard common controls in your phone, it'll go ahead and control that. In this case, I'm playing music on my phone already using the Spotify app. So if I go through the pages here, I'll be able to find the music control page at some point. Do, do, do. There we go. And you can see at the top, Spotify. So the name of the app that's playing, uh, the name of the song, Wahoo, by the Artist Meet Bodies. Look, I, I searched for something called Wahoo. This is this is what I got, folks. Um, and then from there, you can see I can go ahead and pause the song. So you can it's vir virtually instantaneous. Uh, I can increase the volume. This would be increasing the volume on headphones or whatever my music source is. I don't want to get a, a copyright strike, so I'm gonna pause that uh, and then decrease the volume down for now. Uh, and that's that's basically. If I go back here, I can then skip tracks like that. Uh, and you can see it's pretty darn quick, pretty easy. And the same is true as well for podcast. Uh, you can see right here, uh, there's a fit file podcast. If you haven't listened to this week's episode, it's, it's a lot of fun. So definitely check that out up in the corner on either YouTube or on Spotify, as you can see right here. The one thing I think they could have done is put the album artwork in this giant, basically empty space right there. Uh, this is true for music or anything else, but even, even us, because I mean, who wouldn't want to see that, that album artwork right there? Anyways, there you go. Both the lighting control and music control are available right now as soon as you update both your app as well as the Element Roam or Bolt V2s. Uh, and then the camera control for the GoPro is coming at some point in the near future. I don't know. Whenever it just magically shows up on your thing, it'll be there and then you can control your GoPro. With that, thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting and useful, whack the subscribe button, the like button, whatever you want to do, and it, it helps out. Have a good one.